Step four, look at some of the data. Are we gonna look at all of our data? What do you think? Exactly, you have gotten the point of the previous stage. Which data set will we look at? The training data only. Now, why might we do this? Partly because we might be spoiled for choice in terms of features. We have the option to put any of three billion ingredients in. Which combination of ingredients should we put into our cucumber salad? Well, if we don't know anything about these ingredients because they're all labeled with barcodes, it's like being in a dark warehouse full of ingredients and uh, one way to do it is grope around there at random and pick some up and put them into your microwave and hope for the best. Another way is to do analytics first on your training data set, bring your flashlight and have humans look around and think about what might be worth pursuing. Not for sure what's gonna work, just what seems to be a fruitful endeavor. The domain expert plus the analyst together. Analytics pays off as we saw, it helps you engineer good features, it helps you narrow, zoom in, narrow in to good solutions. Another reason we'll do this, say we're doing this wine picking thing and we're working with the age of the wine. And that was calculated from data where we recorded the year. And we had, our, we had a big wine tasting party and our friends were there, who, they were also drinking, which affected how they were recording the data for us, which is great. And so we have this big spreadsheet with the years of the wine. And we could just pick that up and put that right into our model and never look at it. But we could, might also open up that training data and then we notice that the computed age of the wine is sometimes reasonable, two years, six years, and sometimes it seems to suggest that the wine is from the Roman Republic. Now, maybe it is indeed Roman wine. Or maybe someone put in two digits where they should have put in four digits for the year of the wine. And we wouldn't realize that unless we put our eyeballs on the data and actually checked what might be going wrong with it. So this is a step where we are inspired to see if there is any smelly bug in there and should we write a fix. And we will hopefully not clean that up by hand, we'll clean it up algorithmically, and we will apply the fix not just to the training data set, but to all three data sets, because you want the world represented by all three data sets to be the same world. So you shouldn't only fix one and leave the other two. Then you've got Roman Republic wine in your test data set and things will go wrong. So this exploration thing really helps. Feature engineering, cleaning things up, selecting feature subsets.